and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about spring fashion trends and in particular 10 of my favourite springtime fashion essentials. These are going to be the types of things that I feel like if you have in your wardrobe then it'll make it a lot easier for you to pull together your everyday outfits and just look and feel fabulous throughout springtime. The pieces I'm going to show you are the pieces that I have in my own wardrobe but of course you don't need to buy the exact same ones, just something similar and this is really just to give you a guideline of the kind of things that will help you build up your spring wardrobe. And this video is also part of the Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying my edit so far. You might have seen my spring everyday drugstore makeup tutorial. If you haven't, I will leave that linked down below. And make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss any of my spring edit videos or any of my videos for that matter. So I'm going to kick things off with a lovely plain white blouse. Now for me, white is just such an essential colour to have in your spring wardrobe because it really freshens up any outfit. This blouse in particular is a really lovely shape, it's very relaxed and it's got a beautiful bow detail at the top here which just gives it a lovely feminine touch. I find that I wear this with jeans, with embroidered skirts, with floral trousers because it's such a neutral colour, it really does go with so many things and I find myself reaching for this on so many different occasions throughout springtime. My next spring wardrobe essential is a shirt dress and this is a lovely one which I picked up from Topshop. I really love the fit of this one, it's very relaxed meaning you can just stick it on if you're going out shopping with friends or even for a work meeting because the style of it can be quite smart as well. I love the waistband on this in particular, it gives it a really lovely flattering shape and if you'd like to see how I style this up on the blog I'll leave a link to an outfit post down below where I wore this. The post is actually all about how to up your Instagram fashion game but I'm wearing this and the photos are really lovely so definitely go and check that one out. I think a shirt dress is such a lovely springtime essential. You can pick them up on the high street for really not too much money and I've already surprised myself by how many times I have worn this throughout the early spring days. While those two are quite core pieces in your wardrobe, this is more trend-led and it's an off-the-shoulder lace top. So we're seeing these, we saw them on the Louis Vuitton catwalk, on the Gucci catwalk, so many places throughout Fashion Week and it's already filtered down to the high street. This is the one that I've chosen for this video, although I have to say I've picked up quite a few for my spring wardrobe. I really like the shape of this one, it wasn't too expensive at all. This one's actually from H&M and it's a lovely lace material, I believe it was only around four. £14 as well, which is, uh, yep, £12.99, so a really good bargain. I think when you're going to buy into trends, it's okay to go slightly cheaper, whereas if this was a more core piece, like the two pieces before, a little bit more pricey, whereas this, you never know if this is going to be in trend next year or not, so nice to pick up a bit of a fashion bargain. But this I would love to wear with high-waisted trousers, um, maybe a suede skirt, and I think it's a really lovely way of adding that boho chic trend into your spring wardrobe. My next spring essential is a lovely trench coat and you guys know how much I love pink and neutrals so no surprise I have gone for a beautiful pink one. Trench coats are such a timeless item to have in your wardrobe, they never go out of fashion season after season so it's really worth investing in a lovely trench coat. Although having said that the high street has so many incredible options, this one was from Topshop and I absolutely love it, it's got so many nice designs details, you've got the buckles on the sleeves, um, you've got the lovely kind of tortoise shell style buttons and it's just a really lovely shape with this cape style detail at the back. I'd say it's definitely worth trying on a few different colours, a few different fits to make sure you find the one that's right for you because honestly you will not stop wearing this in springtime, it is such a wardrobe staple. This next one is actually quite a recent addition to my wardrobe but I can already see myself getting so much wear out of this and as part of my spring fashion essentials I'd say that a lovely summery day dress has definitely got to be up there in my top 10. A lovely classic day dress like this one is such an easy piece to throw on no matter what you're doing. It can be dressed up or dressed down, whether with sandals or with high heels, and I think if you go again for a neutral colour, then it's bound to slot in really easily with your wardrobe, whether you've already bought some spring accessories or just to go with things that you have from previous seasons, a neutral colour like this one will slot in so easily to your wardrobe. This one in particular I absolutely love for the gorgeous collar detail, it's very preppy and feminine and then the actual detail of the material is like a scalloped lace and it's such a flattering design with a lovely structured bodice, there's no boning in there or anything but it's just been cut really beautifully, a cinched in waist with um, a waistband and then a fit and flare design at the bottom so such a beautiful elegant and feminine shape. 
Next up is a pair of floral trousers. Now you might recognise these from my fashion week diary. I posted a couple of outfit of the days wearing these over on my blog, again which I'll link down below to give you some styling ideas, but I believe that a pair of floral trousers is such a lovely spring wardrobe essential. This pair is really gorgeous, they're a beautiful almost linen-like material which makes them quite smart. They would look really beautiful with that very first white top that I showed you, in fact I think that's what I wore at fashion week. Also these are high-waisted, so again very elegant, very feminine design. I think that floral trousers and a lovely neutral top is such an easy go-to outfit idea for springtime. If I'm ever rushing or stuck for time and I just want to look really lovely, feminine and still quite smart then I'll always reach for floral trousers and maybe a white silk t-shirt or even, as I said, that top that I showed you at the beginning of this video. If that style of floral trousers isn't quite your thing, then how about a pair of floral jeans? This pair is several years old, I picked these up when I used to work at Reese, and I still wear them to this day. Because they are black and white or grey and white, they just slot so easily into my wardrobe. If ever you're trying to fit a trend into your wardrobe, then always go for neutrals or monochrome, because you'll find that colour-wise it'll slot in much more easily. Hence why I still, three or four years later, I'm still loving these trousers. As the weather starts to warm up, I think it's really lovely to have an embroidered skirt or just a really pretty girly skirt in your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be embroidered, maybe you like a floral skirt, or do you remember last year the trend for those scalloped edge skirts, which I absolutely love. This one it just kills two birds with one stone. It's embroidered and it's got the lovely scalloped bottom. I wore this so much last spring and summer and it always came with me on holidays and it's coming with me to South Africa as well. This was a little bit of an investment piece. I got this from Club Monaco, but the price per wear for this skirt has been so fantastic. As I said, I wore it so much last year and I'm excited to start wearing it again this year. Again, with a lovely white t-shirt to dress it down or maybe a white silk camisole to dress it up. Another piece which you'll find yourself reaching for over and over again is a plain camisole top. I've picked this one up in light blue but I've also got it in baby pink and white as well and already I've worn the white one at least 10 times in the two weeks that I've had it. I've worn it so 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 much. When you're looking for a camisole, choose something that will very easily fit in colour wise with the rest of your wardrobes. You guys know I love my pastels, I love my neutrals, so it's no surprise that I picked up a selection of pastel colours. This one in particular is really beautiful, it's a lovely light material, almost quite silky but it's not, it's much easier to care for than silk and it's got some nice strap detail as well instead of just a plain strap it's got two separate straps at the back and this is available right now from Topshop, I'll leave a link down below to this exact one and I highly recommend getting at least one colour option of this and honestly it will go with so many outfit combinations this springtime. And finally, clothing-wise, possibly my most worn item throughout the whole of spring and summer is a pair of classic, well-fitting white jeans. Now, it's worth spending a little bit of time trying on a few different pairs of jeans from a few different stores to figure out what style suits you best and that you're most comfortable in. For me, it's a slim-fitting pair of high-waisted jeans that aren't too long. These ones are from River Island, which I find is best for petites, and they have a lovely raw edge on the bottom, which means that they're quite cropped, so they look good whether I'm wearing flat shoes, heels, sandals, sandals or wedges, any type of footwear. White jeans, you can really be more adventurous with the top that you're wearing. If you're bored of me mentioning white silk camel soles and things like that, then you'll be pleased to know that so many different colours, in fact every colour, goes beautifully with a pair of lovely white jeans. And to finish off, I wanted to talk about a couple of accessories. No surprise, one of my favourite spring essentials for this year is going to be my Key Australia sunglasses. I've been going on and on about these, I love them so much, and I definitely would recommend spending, again, a little bit of time trying on a few different pairs of sunglasses, order a few from ASOS, especially Key. I think they're such good quality and a brilliant price tag. These, I believe, were definitely under £30. So, really good quality sunglasses. They do make a statement, but without being too crazy um, and I think I'm going to be getting a lot more wear out of these this springtime. And last but absolutely not least is a pair of neutral, easy to wear heeled sandals. So these are actually last seasons, I got these from Dune, but I will try to link up some similar options that are available right now down below. Last spring and summer I wore these so much they were without a doubt my most worn pair of shoes. The heel height means they're just about walkable for an entire day without making my legs too sore, and the chunky heel makes them very easy to walk in as well. An ankle strap is always a good thing to look out for if you want something that's going to stay in place on your foot and not make you trip over. And because they're open toe, they're just very flattering, leg lengthening, and also just make any outfit look very sleek, make your legs look elongated, 
and just really, really beautiful. And that's it for my top 10 spring fashion wardrobe essentials. I hope this video has been useful for you guys. As I said, they are my personal top 10 wardrobe essentials, and I'm sure you'll be seeing so much more of those pieces as the season goes on, whether on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, YouTube, blog, you name it, you'll be seeing a lot of those pieces. I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration if you're putting together your spring wardrobe. If you've got any fashion questions, then definitely tweet me, leave a comment, or even send me a Snapchat message, and I would love to help you guys out. I really want to put more fashion on my channel, so do give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more fashion from me. Don't forget to check out the rest of my Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit. You've got two more videos coming your way. The first one I'll link down below, and make sure you are subscribed if you you don't want to miss any. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!